hello everyone welcome to today's lecture video in this video we are going to see the continuation of sales letter and the other types of letters okay uh, so a sales letter is a written pitch to attract the potential customers to a particular product or service the goal of sales letter is to show how your business will benefit the customer so that they can always stick with you when a customer thinks about meeting their needs they are less focused on the idea of business transaction which can lead to a sale so you have to attract your customer by telling how your product can benefit them because nobody is going to buy a product which doesn't benefit them so when they think that something is too much of uh uh something cost too much for them they are not going to buy but you have to convince uh, the customer so that they can uh, be attracted to the benefit and forget about the cost so that is the uh, purpose of a business letter business letter must be always persuading in nature business letter use sales letters in both online and print formats sales letters are a format of direct marketing that can be effective so you have to give much importance and you have to be persuasive you should use all persuasive techniques and strong content so that you can your customer will be attracted towards you how to write a sales letter um how uh, a potential customer needs a reason to purchase right so a sales letter gives that reason and uh, it backs up with all example and information for a customer to rely on the product and the company and their service so when they rely on the service definitely they are going to buy How, what are the techniques that you are going to use to make the customer rely on you so let's have a look at it first write a catchy headline that grabs the customer's attention catchy uh, headline is always the line which the customer is looking for so you have to think from the customer's point of view to write a, a catchy headline and then hook the reader by identifying what they need and why do they need so you have to give a valid reason why your um, product satisfy their needs and then include bullet points with the key information so that it always stand out and uh, uh, stays with their mind forever and use testimonials or great stories which satisfies the customers uh, or which clarifies the customers doubt and which stands testimonials they stand as a um, proof for all your service to the customer so you have to include testimonials in order to persuade the customer and then give the reader a call to action after they read all the information that you have given the customer is definitely going to think how can they buy so fr think from the customer's point of view again so give all the plans that you have called for an action so that if the customer have the money all a, uh, on a stretch then he'll go for it if he doesn't have it then he he's going to pick a call for an action that you have suggested so that he can buy your product and then offer something to the customer that is limited in a particular time or quantity so that he can hurry up and quickly purchase the product and then here's the example for a sales letter sales promotion letter on shoes okay so here comes the address of the letter head of the company and then to the person who is going to buy the product dear ahmed mr ragmed we do not remember the names and faces of our customers it is so because they are satisfied moreover once they purchase our shoe they do not need the other for the next 2 years so here you try to convince uh, and give the satisfact um testimony of your uh, customers by saying that if you buy one you don't need to come for our store for the next 2 years so road master shoes or manufactured by uh, so your product quality and then uh, here it comes the sizes and then the last convincing line 
Purchase your favorite shoe now for yourself, wife and kid and look for more smart in Roadmaster. So here comes the, in within two lines, you give the testimony and convincing uh, line so that the customer can buy you. So there is no reason why your customer should deny you when you write a persuading sales letter. And then comes the claim letter. Claim letter or a complaint letter, both are same is a persuasive letter sent by a customer to a business agency or an organization to identify a problem with the product or service and so that it can be rectified in the future okay typically a claim letter is always uh, with a request adjustment such as refund replacement payment or uh, a payment for damages though a cordial opening paragraph about the transaction or product may be preferred Okay, as a method of business writing claim letter or sent as a legally binding form of communication which can serve as an evidence if a claim letter is not taken to court. Okay, so it must be, it's a highly uh, what controversial uh, kind of letter. So it has to be written in format with all due respect. In most cases, court Appearances are not required because the business recipient typically drafts a reply in the form of an adjustment letter which settles down the claim. So take for example, so here is a claim letter. Claim letter and a, um, claim letter should always have the letterhead on the top so that it uh, sends a clear message who, uh, to whom the claim letter is sent okay so the general manager northern railway we would like to bring to your kind attention that our consignment of hayes free goods sent by ambassador on november 10 12 was tempered with during transit this fact has been duly satisfied by the railway clerk at thane station from whom we received a contain consignment his remarks are enclosed here with uh, we are writing to request compensation for our losses. The pilferage of woolen clothes has resulted in huge losses for us. Uh, we have enclosed an itemized list of the loss items along with their cause. We must insist that you register this claim of ours and reimburse us immediately. We look forward to hearing from you, your sincerely particular authority. So this must be with two address and letterhead everything must be perfect because it must it is a very very important record next one is a request letter a request letter is a formal letter of document that is written in a context of requesting anything from an official it is a formal way of demanding a particular favor from higher authorities or higher personalities so it has to be very formal and it can be written to your boss or manager to get a promotion or to get a leave or to get permission so it can be anything a request letter can be anything that the employer uh, the employee writes to the employer in requesting a favor so it can be anything when you request everything comes under this request letter a request letter is a record composed uh, for a particular aim of mentioning a particular substance so it can uh, uh, be anything right uh, snip, uh, snippets of data authorization or a favor for a particular specific matter this is a conversation letter that should be made with graciousness so you can investigate an or uh, assortment of solicitation letter layouts in okay look at the example that here we have given so request letter format so in request letter you have to have the date and then the name of the reception designation company name address and then the subject and then comes the uh, entire request with the body and in the final line you should thank the reader for considering your letter and mentioning um, mention where he can expect the contact correspondence from you and then your uh, the you should have uh, this complimentary note your sincerely or your truly your signature and then 
for designation and then we are going to have a look at appreciation thank you for listening to this lecture video let's see the continuation of sales letter and the other types of formal letters in the next video thank you so much